We're making excellent progress throughout uh, Unit 1 so far, so very well done. The next key term that we are going to be looking at is the importance of quality assurance in the assessment process. So as a qualified assessor, you need to keep your, your knowledge uh, of assessing up to date, okay? And the best way to do this is through internal quality assurance. This is where you sit down with perhaps one or uh, a team of assessors, and it's all about sharing good practice and of course your experiences um, of assessing, okay? It's a fantastic way to talk about what's going well within your uh, current assessing role, okay? Your experiences, and also it's a, a chance to, to share good practice and also to standardize practice um, as well, okay? So assessing uh, is not always perfect, okay? And through collaboration, you can find new uh, ways to make the assessing process easier for yourself as an assessor and also for the learner as well, to, for the learners to essentially have a, a better assessing experience, okay? Um, so what is internal quality assessment and what does a meeting look like, okay? So more often than not, during um, an internal quality assurance meeting, this is where a team of assessors will have a sample of, of learner work or assessment decisions. Um, so this is where um, assessing reports can be sampled and provided to one another. And you can see the level of detail perhaps that you put into uh, your assessing report as well. So you could perhaps write in, in lots of detail. Others, uh, assessors can perhaps write the bare minimum, okay? And so lots of discussions can happen here. So you generally meet in the middle and you find out about uh, the best practice going forward. So it's there to standardize your, your practice. So of course, we are going to compare uh, different assessment decisions. Um, and in the, the importance of this is that you are going to promote reliability and fairness regarding the assessment practice, okay? So it's very important that you do attend either face-to-face -face meetings um, and also you can attend perhaps a webinar uh, standardization calls and video calls as well, okay? So do have a think about your own uh, future uh, standardization meetings. What would uh, what of those look like, okay, in your future assessing practice. Furthermore, we have very much the, the benefits of the internal quality assurance. Um, so what are the benefits? Well, it involves all assessors. Uh, it's an opportunity for assessors to provide feedback on their assessing experiences, okay. Um, you can really get anything off your chest as an assessor. You can collaborate new ideas, of course and you can promote clear instructions for the assessor and the learner as well, okay? So new policies, procedures can be made here, okay? You can, of course, work uh, with the, perhaps the IQA, okay, to create perhaps greater standardization of uh, learner instructions, assessment criteria, joining instructions, okay, if there's any preparation that needs to do. So all of those things can really help uh, to, to contribute uh, to the assessing process. Furthermore, um, as an assessor, you might be perhaps deemed as a high risk assessor, perhaps you're new to assessing, but the more and more that you attend standardization meetings is your risk will go down because of course you become more experienced within the internal quality assurance process. So in terms of uh, this, this question, this criteria, for this first section, we would like for you to explain the term internal quality assurance, okay? So just two or three lines in your own words, what does it mean? Furthermore, we would like for you to explain what are the benefits of internal quality assurance uh, for both the assessor and the learner, okay? Do have a look at pages 129 to 133 uh, to give you a little bit more information on the internal quality assurance process, but think about the benefits for yourself and also for your learners.